As soon as I got the call from Jackson that he'd found this very small white shark, and when I said, oh, how big is she? I realized that she was very important for science because surprisingly, we don't know very much about the life history of many sharks, one of which is how small they are when they're born. So white sharks, like some other sharks, are live bearers. So they actually give birth to live young that have to fend for themselves when they come out. There's a lot of body proportions that change with growth. So fin size, the diameter of the mouth, eye size, tooth size, etc. Clinton, our shark research associate, he has a, a good database of changes in body growth over size. And now he has a very small individual to sort of continue that line of, of changes in body growth. What we did today was what we affectionately call pickling a fish, but actually what we're doing is um, using a fixative fluid to stabilise the proteins in the fish so it doesn't go off. I'm quite aware that for some iwi, and particularly for Ngāti Kuri, white sharks are tupuna, they're considered their ancestors. So it wasn't just a simple matter of just saying, yes, Jackson, let us have it. I actually sought permission from Ngāti Kuri to have her deposited here rather than be returned to them for reburial. And as a result of that, she was gifted the name Rehutai by Ngāti Kuri. And so it was quite nice to continue that connection we have with Ngāti Kuri by having Rehutai deposited here at the museum. Because of her value to the research community, it was important that she be deposited in a museum or a similar institution so people can look at her for hundreds of years into the future.